Well, heads up guys, Jared back. So I'm really excited to show you this application. Uh, it's called Themer. Now, if any of you guys are familiar with the website MyColorScreen.com or the YouTube channel MyColorScreen, um, you guys know that they make some incredible, incredible themes. Uh, and it's basically a community of um, people who actually create these themes. Now, these themes are very difficult to um, start creating and uh, to recreate if you're somebody that goes onto their website and uh, decides to take it upon yourself to follow the instructions on how to create your own theme. Um, I've done it once before and it took me about six and a half hours, yes, I'm not the best person when it comes to theming, um, to create the theme that I wanted. Uh, well, they've decided to come up with this amazing application called Themer. Now, at the moment, it's still only in closed public beta. So unfortunately for those of you, as much as I hate to say this, um, you're gonna have to go and sign up by downloading the application from the Play Store. Of course, I'll be, uh, of course, I'll be posting a link in the description below. Um, and you're gonna have to sign up for the beta. Now, unfortunately, when I first signed up to it, there was about 60,000 people in front of me. Uh, luckily though, I contacted the developer and um, we were able to work something out. So uh, here's the application and this is got to be the easiest way on the face of this planet to do some extremely high quality theming uh, on your Android device. Now the beautiful thing about this application is that um, it doesn't actually require you to um, change the themes based on your specific device. Whereas before, um, some themes may be made for the HTC One and if I was to try and apply it to my Samsung Galaxy S4, it just wouldn't work out that well. This automatically detects your device. At the moment, there's only a limited amount of devices that are currently supported. Um, however, obviously, once this application gets out of beta and it's in full public release, uh, we'll obviously start seeing some um, a major uh, update of um, devices lists that uh, um, are supported by this application. So uh, here it is right here. Now, um, as you can see, the theme that I decided to go with right now, because I've, I'm on this Grand Theft Auto 5 kick at the moment, um, is the Grand Theft Auto theme. And it is just beautifully designed. Now, of course, the it doesn't come with the um, lock screen wallpaper. That's actually something I found with um, on my own uh, with the application called Wallbase. Nevertheless, um, really, really great stuff here. So as you can see, it actually hides my status bar for me. And these are all things that you can actually change, which we'll get into in just a moment. Um, but as you can see, I've got maps, camera, phone, message, and email, all of which have a notification count as well. So if I have any missed phone calls, it'll give me a number there, uh, messages, and of course, same with emails, time and date down there at the bottom. And of course, I can jump into all applications to uh, get to all, my, all of my apps, as you would imagine. Of course, everything works too. Camera works, as you can see. Uh, if I was to jump into maps here, you know, maps works just as well, as you can see. Um, moving to the next page here, it gives you your battery percentage up at the top there, the weather. Uh, unfortunately, this is something I wanted to point out. Um, um, I live in Canada, so obviously we use uh, you know Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out how to change that to uh, Celsius, but again, keeping in mind this is still in beta. Um, though, that said, if I click on it, it'll go ahead and launch the Weather Channel application for me. Now, that's actually something that I downloaded. So um, when you first install this application, as you start going through and you decide to pick things like, say, for instance, music down there at the bottom, um, it's actually going to give you the option of um, different applications to use. Now, if you have uh, multiple music applications like I do at the moment, uh, well, two to be more specific, uh, Google Music and, of course, Songza, um, it asked me, you know, which do you want to make your main um, default music application? And of course, I decided to go with uh, Google, as you can see. Um, so you'll notice that as you go through, and we can actually reset that uh, over time, which, again, like I'll show you in the settings menu in just a moment here. Uh, so battery percentage, weather, you've got your uh, clock, or sorry, uh, music down there at the bottom. You've got news, internet, um, your favorites. Click on favorites. This is uh, goes to your um, application drawer, and you can actually set up different um, favorites widgets if you want to, or sorry, applications. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead to apps. And say, for instance, I wanted to put uh, Google Chrome in there, I would go ahead and drag it up to the little heart there which is my favorite, so that would then drop it in there. And so every time in the future, instead of having to go into applications and search for um, the application I want, I can just go ahead and tap on favorites, and there's the application I put in there. Uh, so going back to the home screen here, of course, we can jump into the gallery and so on. Um, everything works. And of course, a lot of these themes I've noticed actually have um, sort of a news fee, whether it be from Reddit or somewhere else on the internet, as you can see, Imgur and all these different places. So, um, you know, and uh, most of this is, as you can see, Grand Theft Auto V is the subreddit that's uh, uh, set by default. So really cool stuff here. And of course, you know, on a nice 1080p display uh, device, it looks absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings here, which you can achieve by either jumping to the application drawer and you'll have this up in the top right hand corner at all times. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, yes, this is pretty much a launcher. Um, that's, that's pretty much what it is. Um, so anyways, 
Uh, we'll go back it or uh, like I was going to show you alternatively you can go ahead and hit the menu button and it'll jump you right into the settings there. Um, so if I wanted to we can go ahead and jump into browse themes here and you've got different uh, categories most popular staff picks and newest. So we're just going to go ahead and start it with newest because this will give us all of the themes that are available at the moment at least for my specific device. I haven't tried or I've tried to load this on my HTC one although it looks like uh, the beta code that I, um, I was given uh, is only compatible with the initial device you installed it on. So unfortunately I wasn't able to test it out with my HTC one. Uh, but as you can see these are a list of all the different themes that uh, you can download and apply and I mean they download and apply very quickly and it optimizes everything for your specific device size and so on and so forth. Um, it looks like oh like we were freezing up a little bit there again it's still in beta. Um, so some really really interesting looking as you can see there's the Grand Theft Auto one and you can go ahead and you can favorite some of these so you can come back and check them out later on. Um, so if I was to go ahead and click back there um, you know of course we've got most popular picks. Uh, there's a limited number of um, of themes at the moment uh, again this is still in uh, you know closed public beta and it is quite brand new so uh, if you go to mycolorscreen.com you'll notice they've got a ton of different themes for you to um, you know create on your own on your own device although if I were you and you're not that great like me at theme I would wait for your beta code for this particular application here um, so that said though uh, you can expect to see many 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 more themes now a lot of you guys are probably relating this to buzz launcher buzz launcher is a very popular launcher that came a little while ago um, that themes your device for you kind of in the similar way that this one does except the only difference is, is that that one does require um, sometimes from time to time you to use that UCCW application to start creating and adjusting the different themes um, for your device and so on and it starts to become really really difficult um, and it's more of a pain in the ass than anything this streamlines and simplifies and automates everything for you and I can't tell you how incredibly impressed I am with the work of the team that's been working and developing uh, this particular application so if I wanted I can go to my themes here and you can see that I've got favorites and downloads so if you click on favorites you can see I've favorited a couple of them uh, if I go ahead and click on downloaded um, you can see that I've uh, downloaded uh, a few here we can go back and go into settings here go into themer uh, you can start changing things so I told you before how when I selected um, my music application preference uh, I can go ahead and remove that if I want to although for some strange reason it's not showing up in here so perhaps that's part of the uh, beta but as you can see I can reset all of this if I want and start choosing so if I had multiple different dialer uh, applications or phone applications I can reset this and choose something else uh, at a later date um, unread email accounts we can change everything in here for the different um, labels that you have uh, you can go back to restore your old home screen if you don't want to be using themer anymore and of course you've got support about themer and some different legal information uh, go ahead and click on back there we can jump into advanced and this is where you can start mucking around with stuff now everything every theme has its own default settings uh, for themer um, so I don't recommend you guys really tinker around a whole lot in here um, though if you wanted to the options are here and you can start changing things around auto hide um, the notification bar and show eye context and so on though if you start doing this stuff you're really going to start altering um, the way that the theme that you've just downloaded or applied is actually supposed to look so lots of different um, options here if you really wanted to get into the thick of it uh, jump into system to get into my system settings or of course alternatively uh, going back to the home screen where it uh, is going to this doesn't happen often <laughs> hide my notification bar I can pull it down and of course access my system settings from here as well um, so let's go ahead and apply a different theme shall we so I'm gonna go ahead and click on themer and we are going to go into browse themes actually I'm gonna go to my themes and go to downloaded no not there uh, maybe favorites I really like this nice clean look we'll go ahead and check out the Breaking Bad theme after that because I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be interested in that um, so we can go ahead I haven't downloaded this yet so if I wanted to I can oh wait yes I have we're in the downloaded or favorites one I can't remember anyways uh, downloading the theme here we go as you can see downloads really really quickly um, loads it up and don't make me look like a fool. There we go. And that's it. Nice, clean, very simplistic theme. Very nice looking. Um, some nice neon colors. You can go ahead and jump into the application drawer by there. Uh, what I like about these themes is that there's a lot of exploring. So every time you load a new theme, it really is like exploring a new device. Um, I just have a lot of fun with it. It's just so simplistic and easy. It does everything for you. There's no tinkering or dicking around with trying to modify things for your specific device, for its screen, and so on and so forth. It's just amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and do one more. We'll go ahead and do that Breaking Bad theme because I can hear you guys through the camera and the interwebs right now. Uh, downloaded and if we'll go ahead and load for me. Are you going to load for me? Please don't make me look like a fool on camera. 
uh, download it. There we go, Breaking Bad. Let's get that going. Go ahead and click Apply. It's going to prepare the theme. It's going to apply. I mean, look how quick this is. It's so fluid. And this is only, what, one, two days out of our into beta? I mean, it's really impressive. So as you can see, we've got some different it's Walt's notifications, a nice picture of the Breaking Bad team up there at the top. Um, we've got your phone uh, uh, complete with the um, uh, notification count, text messages, emails, internet, um, your favorites, music, your camera, gallery, maps, contacts, and of course, jump into the Play Store there. Alternatively, we can go ahead and click on the application drawer button right there. Uh, which is really nice and convenient. Oh, and also you'll notice that that little sort of radiation uh, symbol up there at the top uh, is actually your battery symbol, which is awesome. Um, so flipping to the next screen, we've got some news. It's called Breaking Bad News, um, although it is just regular news from around the world. Uh, so pretty interesting there. Uh, we also have our weather uh, right there. And we've got another option to jump into all applications, contacts, what's this one? Uh, some music. Um, a lot of these also, they'll come with these applications you'll notice in here, like I don't have radio installed, but if I was to click on it, um, oop, see, so it asks me, there we go, preferences. Um, let's show you something else here, a uh, better example. Click on games, and I don't have either of these games, but if you wanted to, you can go ahead, click on it, it tells you app isn't installed, takes you to the Play Store to allow you to download it, which is really cool. Um, and of course, we can jump into settings, and there's some different, basically, utilities. And you'll notice as you download applications um, that the application itself defines as a utility. It'll actually move it automatically into the utility folder for you. Um, so it just takes some playing around. It's quite an intuitive application at that. Um, so really impressive stuff here from My Color Scream. Um, or my color screen. I called it my color screen. Um, that's it though, guys. Um, uh, like I said before, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go to the play store and download this right away. Um, uh, though that said, you are going to have to apply for the beta code. Uh, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned and keep an eye out and make sure you sign up for the beta so that you can at least get in on this, uh, before the public launch, uh, the complete public launch. Um, I am just completely amazed at this application and this is just and and you know i hope it doesn't sound like i'm exaggerating by saying this but they've completely revolutionized um what theming android really means anyways guys thanks for watching if you like this video click that likes button down below uh if you haven't already and you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos like this one in the future and you can always stay up to date on all things the smoking android by following me on twitter and google plus that's it for now though guys thanks for watching as always and we'll see you in the next one cheers